Hello, and welcome to this week's installment of Crafts Around the House. My name is Jocelyn Williams, and I'm from Bordeaux Library. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a photo block. So let's get started. So for this craft, you're going to need some Mod Podge, some one inch blocks, that's what we're going to use, some scissors, exacto knife, ruler, photos of your choice, sandpaper, and I'm going to use some rubber bands and I'll show you how to use that. When you get your kit, you're going to get nine wooden blocks. I recommend getting some rubber bands, like I said, and putting the rubber band around the blocks to keep them in place. So I've already pre-cut my pictures. I personally like original pictures only because when you mod podge your pictures on, you want them to be, you want it to last as long as possible. I have this one photo here to show you how you can take your photo, you can lay it on here, and you can score it this way, and you can cut it out, and then you can measure your inches, your one inch squares, all the way across. Then once you have your squares cut, if you're steady with your scissors, then you can use your scissors. If you're steady with an X-Acto knife, or you can, you can use a straight edge, and you can rest your X-Acto knife right along here, and that will guide you. So I'm just gonna use my scissors. And the next step you're going to do is use your Mod Podge. Each kit comes with a little bottle of Mod Podge. This is enough Mod Podge to do this kit and then more if you want to go out and buy yourself some more blocks later and do more. For starters, all we're going to do is lift up and just put a little dab on the back of each block and a little dab on the back of here just to starters because we just want to glue it in place. Now that I got them in here, then this is going to sit and dry. And then after that bottom coat dries, then you will go back over top of it and the excess that's on here, we can just go back over with our scissors and cut it. So after that side will finish, we will add another photo, which will go on the back side. Give that a couple seconds to let that dry. <clears throat> so that's going to dry. But meanwhile, I can go ahead and cut off this excess trim over here. I'm just going to use the scissors and anything more. I will use the exacto knife, but not until I put another coat of paint on there. So I'm going to let that dry. What you're going to do next is flip your blocks. And as you can see, you're going to have two new sides, two clean sides, and they're going to be ready for pictures. So you will start with another picture, like so. And when you finish, that's when you'll have a complete puzzle that will open up, like so. A completed project. And that's how you would make a puzzle block. If you would like to take a chance at making one of these beautiful puzzles of your own, 
you can pick up a kit that consists of wooden blocks and Mod Podge at our Bordeaux Library or our Headquarters Library. If you have any questions, you can call us at 910-483-7727. Or if you have any other questions about our virtual programs, you can go onto our website at www.cumberland.lib.nc.us. Thank you for joining us.